Hey guys, today's play game of Metroid Prime 2 Echoes. This is the sequel to, of course, Metroid Prime, and uh, this came out in 2004. And uh, I think the Metroid Prime series is probably looked upon as probably, um, yeah, one of Nintendo's, I think, greatest achievements because, I mean, they haven't really made a first person shooter before this. And yeah, this is uh, like on a Nintendo console, like, it's not really that many sh first person shooters, right? At that time. So, I mean, GoldenEye 007, that was developed by Rare, but Metroid Prime, this is like Nintendo property, it's totally reinventing Metroid into a first person shooter, that, like that's pretty amazing. Um, so yeah, this is, I think this is the better game compared to the original Metroid Prime. I mean, Metroid Prime 1 was really, you know, amazing, uh, that was, that's an all time great game on the GameCube, but Metroid Prime 2 as well, right? So I think it improves upon Metroid Prime in a, in a few ways. So anyways, let's uh, take a look. I haven't played Metroid Prime before. I didn't own a GameCube, but this is definitely one of the best games for it, right? Let's check it out. Data confirmation. Last transmission received. Okay. Okay, so we're going to planet. Of course, I play as Samus Aran, who is a, a bounty hunter, actually. He's a female protagonist, one of the first female action protagonists in the video game. Alright, so yeah, it's a first person shooter, really, really cool. Um, it's interesting, I think Nintendo might have been influenced by Halo, I think, right? Halo came out in 2001, and I think they probably saw Halo and figured, oh, we gotta make a first person shooter too. And um, yeah, and hence they turned Metroid into a first person shooter. Yeah, I really haven't really played much of Metroid Prime. It's really been a Nintendo specific series, of course. Metroid is pretty specific to Nintendo, so. Yeah. It's cool having to play this. It's a really nice game. Scan 
Can I scan them here? There we go. Destroy laws to activate the gate. Anything special about that gate you can use to open it? Something. I can charge up my shots to make nice. It's like Mega Man. They should make a first-person Mega Man game. Why haven't they done that? I mean, if they can make a first-person Metroid game, why not a first-person Mega Man game with like a you know Mega Buster, like in, just like this, and charge up? It's the same concept, I think. Get out of here. Where did Hot Rod Pot get? Wait, how do you open? Do you have to scan a nearby panel? It will move when a nearby panel is scanned. Which panel? What panel? Another panel scan something. Okay, so it only opens when I scan a panel. scan yet. I mean this is a metric game so I'm assuming there's a, it's not linear so destroy them okay oops pressing that button Panels, which of the panels are supposed to scan?
I still don't know what else to do here. Oh, here it is. Okay, I see it. Security panel on key control system. There we go. Finally. <laughs> Man, it took me a long time to find that one. Jesus. Friendly fire. Huh, interesting. because of this web thing. I see. That's why, okay. I love scanning stuff. I can get to see cool information about it. Organ tree. <clears throat> Jump myself in here. <laughs> Jump myself into here. Interesting.
power to. Mega Man Mega Buster. There we go. Dimensional anomaly, dimensional rift. Uh, it's a wormhole thing. Okay. I'm a traveler of all time and space. Going through Kashmir. Dun, 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 dun. You're stolen by unknown creatures.
malfunction. It wants us to go from there. Save station, can I use this? Translator files not huh. Alien technology. It's an alien gate. Possible creatures that are an RTS game where you make combined DNA creatures or something like that. We call them critters. So your critters are ready. <laughs> and impossible creatures, that's a forgotten RTS game. Thank you. 
Dogs are under attack. You guys played impossible. It's an impossible creatures reference, you know? There's no one will get except for me. It's such an obscure RGS game. I seem to get uh, this activated. 
Oh, here we go. It's full here. Damn. type of things. Spaceship. Oh. Anyway, so I'll stop here, but this is Metroid Prime 2 Echoes, and yeah, I think there's also Metroid Prime 3 Corruption, right? Um, but I think 2 is probably the one that people maybe say is the best um, out of the series, but yeah, definitely I think Metroid Prime 2 is a great game. Well, especially for, for an FPS game for consoles, which wasn't that common at the time. I mean, there's Time Splitters Future Perfect, which is also really great. But yeah, I mean, this came out the same year as Halo 2. So you have two great sci fi FPS games that came out in the same year uh, on console. So this is basically meant to compete with Halo 2, I think. Yeah, Halo 2 came out the same year. This one came out Metroid Prime 2, and I think they are both great sci fi FPS games. So that's it, guys. Uh, Metroid Prime. 
Prime 2. It's a great FPS game, um, both for its era and just in general. I think it seems very polished. And uh, I like uh, Samus's different abilities too, on top of that. Yeah, like I said, kind of reminds me of Halo uh, in a bit. So yeah, Halo and Metroid Prime, I think, are meant to compete with each other. <laughs> yeah, both great game series though.